Hey, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us for our time of spiritual transformation. Today is Tuesday, September 1st, and I'm so glad to be with you for this time. Hey, I just want to let you guys know, just in case you don't, you kind of often wonder how this happens and how I do this, is I had a completely different message until about five minutes ago. And this happens more than you know, where God's like, hey, I want you to talk about this instead. And so here was the thing that came to my mind just like five minutes ago, as I said, is, you know what? I don't know about you, but one of the things that I've talked a lot about is how I love to run in different races. Just a couple of weeks ago, I ran, uh, or just a week ago, I ran this nighttime race where I got this medal. Um, I've run a couple of half marathons. So I've had an opportunity to get a medal for some half marathons. Yeah, I've run a couple of Spartan races. And one of the things that I've always found to be interesting about this, and especially as it pertains to our life, is the fact that everyone who runs the race gets a medal. Everyone who finishes gets a medal. The first person across the line gets a medal. The last person across the line gets a medal. But guess what? The person who stops in the middle, the person who chooses not to finish, The person who quits, guess what? They don't. They don't get a medal. And how many times in our life are we running our race and we're doing what God has called us to do and we're so focused on how fast or how slow everyone around us is going in their own race that maybe we miss the opportunity to cross our own finish line? How many times do we miss the opportunity to do what God is calling us to because we're so focused on the racers around us? That's one of the things that I think is really interesting about running a marathon and especially, I will tell you, was super interesting about running this race about this race a week or so ago was I reached points where I was out running by myself. It was the middle of the night and there was no one around. I had no one to pace me. I had no one to know how well they were doing. I was simply by myself in the woods running with no idea how anyone else was doing. And so many times we kept ourselves comparing ourselves. And so I wanted to read from 1 Corinthians 9, 25 through 27 today, because I think this is super important and super relevant to us as we're running our race, just knowing that our entire focus should just be on crossing the finish line. And here's what it says. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like a man running aimlessly. I do not fight like a man beating the air. No, I beat my body and make it my slave so that after I've preached others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. And when I look at this, what I really see is that everyone's competing And this says to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that lasts forever. Our job every single day, our effort every single day is to go out and pursue God, pursue our own transformation as we're on our journey with him to achieve the crown. But what someone else is doing in their own race has absolutely nothing to do with what's going on in your race. Run to cross the finish line. Cross your finish line. Run your race. Run the God, the race that God has called you to run. But don't just get distracted by the race someone else is running. God may be calling someone else to run faster. God may be running else, someone else to run over this way or to run a different style. Who cares? It has nothing to do with you. Are you talking to God? Are you listening to God and understanding your race? Because at the end of the day, everyone who crosses the finish line gets a prize. Eternally, If we stay focused on God and cross the finish line, we get his prize. We get his crown. But if we get distracted by someone else or we quit or we stop or we get off track and miss the opportunity to cross the finish line, it costs us everything. And so can you today be focused on what God is calling you to do in running your race? And so that's what I want you to type up today is hashtag run my race. And if you want to really emphasize it, capitalize the my, M-Y, run my race, that you're just going to be focused on running the race that God has laid before you, and you're going to cross that finish line, and you're going to go for that finish line and what God has for you. Let me pray for us. God, I thank you so much that we can come together today. I thank you that we can be here, but I thank you for the reminder that you're calling us to run just our race, the race that you've put before us. God, I thank you that... I don't have to run someone else's race. 
I'm thankful that the speed at which I go is the speed at which you call me and that I just need to listen to your small, still voice and go where you call me to go and run as fast as you call me to run or as slow as you call me to run. But more than anything, I need to listen. And God, I pray that we all would just listen. Would we listen better and hear you more so that we can run my race, the race that you've laid out for us. And I thank you for everyone who's on this call. Would you give them your supernatural peace? Would you give them just a focus only on the race that you've given to them and help them just see their role in your greater kingdom? In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. So glad that you could be with me today. So excited always when we get a chance to come together. I hope that you realize that we've got one lifetime, one, to create transformation that matters. And are you doing things to transform yourself every single day? I hope that this contributes to your own transformation. I hope that this contributes to you living your best life. God bless you. I will see you tomorrow.